Yeah. All right, welcome to Goose video number three. Today we're going to talk to a real aerodynamic specialist type of fella, a friend of mine named Rob B. We're going to call him on the phone here in one second. But just to welcome you to this video, we've got the, uh, the Goose Project that you know from videos one and two. And if you want, go check those out first before watching this. Or hopefully this should still be entertaining enough that um, you uh, enjoy watching the video regardless of having seen the other ones or not. And regardless of whether you're actually interested in planes or not, my goal is to make the videos entertaining enough. So let's get on the phone with Rob B. Is that Rob? This is he. Hey Rob, this is Ed calling. Ed, how are you doing? Good, how are you? Good. We are recording for the uh, next YouTube video, the Goose Project video number three. It's a shame I'm on the phone because I grew up my beard, you know, to, to, to look like Joaquin Phoenix. Oh. It's like I get that visual effect. Uh, very good, very good. Okay, so I wanted to get everyone oriented with... Um, who you are and your qualifications and where you're from and all that and you're actually from close by uh, to me I'm here in uh, Pittsburgh Pennsylvania and uh, and you're from York Pennsylvania right originally yes so can you name us a couple things that uh, York is known for or should be known for the York peppermint patties oh really yes they originally were made in York no way yes that's awesome and uh, and Harley Davidson motorcycles are made in York Okay, I knew that. That's that's good. Harley's and York Peppermint Patties. There's a, a barbells. Pardon? York barbells. Oh, the barbells. Yeah, the barbell company. They used to be the standard barbell for the Olympics. Uh huh. Uh huh. I remember those. Yeah. Wow, that's cool. There's so there's like way more than two things because I know there's a band that was real famous from York, Pennsylvania, right? Live. Live, yeah. So wow, that's four big things. Cool. There you go. Well, I don't know if I call them big things, you know. Big, big, big enough for that, though. Yeah. York. Definitely. Okay, so then you went to uh, school to become a... What is your degree in? It's aer aerodynamic something, right? Aerospace engineering. Aerospace engineering, okay. And you went to school at? Penn State. Ah, uh, right. And Penn State's famous for? I, I, are they famous for anything? Um, <laughs> I heard they have a football team. Uh, and, and some old coach. Yeah. Of, of course, Penn State's uh, famous uh, for a lot of things. I think one in seven hundred people in the United States have a degree from Penn State. Wow, that is that is incredible. Okay, so you're you're qualified to give me advice on the wind tunnel, which is the subject of today's program, which I probably forgot to mention until this point. But oh. uh, <laughs> so so that's the whole the whole deal. But uh, just to to wrap up the history of. Uh, Rob, I, I, Rob B. I did mention you in the last video, as you saw, and I, I mistook all the news stories about Rod R O D B. I, uh, I guess I don't hear too well, so I thought, I thought he was Rob B. Also, so. But that comes from being a drummer in a rock and roll band, there, Ed. You know, <laughs> hearing tends to be the first thing to go. Yeah, especially my left ear. So I really should move you over to the right there, because, uh, you know, my left ear was the one always towards the guitarist amp, and. Uh, and so I got that, you know, the tinnitus and all that stuff are 